what are some hidden gems that people don't know about um, the area that you've that like so like if you if you had a friend that was coming in, where would you want to take them? Where's that? Mm. Hidden gem? Yeah, um, I guess it depends on what they want to do. Definitely the Nolan Trail. I think the Nolan Trail is the most underrated area in all of Hampton Roads. First Landing is beautiful, but I think the Nolan Trail is the best in my book. Um, I don't think it's a hidden gem, but I love Buckrow Beach. I sometimes go there over Virginia Beach because I, I enjoy it more. And... Um, one of my favorite restaurants actually recently closed during COVID, which is a little sad. It was my favorite cocktail place. So that would have been my favorite cocktail gem. That one's, you know, that's, that brings up an interesting point. So we have Buffalo has the chicken wings, Philadelphia has the cheesesteak. You know, what you being a, a, a long, your whole life in the 757, what is like the one restaurant? What's the staple food? that when you bring someone here, what, what, are, what are we famous for? I mean, the only thing that I can think of is the white sauce at uh, Gibson sauce. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, so what else is there? I mean, don't get me wrong. We, hey, we really white sauce what's our, yeah. Well, it's tough because I'm vegetarian. So all the things that are the go-tos, I don't eat. So they're not my go-tos anymore. But I mean, like, we've got to put something on the map other than, uh, I mean, we got to have something more than Plaza Azteca, and, uh, which is great. I'm not, but I mean, but what is our staple? We have to put something on the map. I get, what about peanuts? Ham? Yeah, I mean, the small business of the year from the chamber was Hub's Peanuts, mm -hmm. uh, just one. So maybe it is peanuts. I mean, and by the way, like, have you ever had like the chocolate covered ones of those things? They're, oh, dude, I can't. They, they have Cajun style. Oh, man. You know, I thought it was barbecue when I first moved down here. So I moved down here from DC, gosh, in 07, uh, the Northern Virginia, DC area. And people talk about barbecue here, but I don't like, I don't know. Right. Like, I, that's I, I don't. Thing. I don't dig that. It, I don't think it's crab because Maryland took crab. Now, some people might say right. seafood, but is there an aspect of seafood of it or is just seafood in general? Not so I don't, I don't like Hampton Roads. We bring all of the, we bring all of everything to Hampton Roads, but we don't really have anything that we're like, Hey, this is ours. Well, I think yeah. even from like a landmark perspective, you could have that same question, right? So like maybe not food, but like, what's the landmark of the area? So like if you were to watch a football game or a soccer game, let's say that we had a professional football team here, right? And they were, you know, going out to the, um, when they go to commercial, they show like video of different places. So like in DC, it would be specific memorials or the Washington Monument, things like that. What would that be here? You know, is right. it Mount Trashmore? Is it the Wisconsin? Like, what is it? Is it Virginia Beach, right? Like, yeah. what is that landmark? Like, it's hard to, it's hard to answer that. Right. The other one I think about is uh, if we if we were to ever get a professional sports team, what would that what would the nickname of that team be? Because I think that the Tides is cool and the Admirals is cool. What's the next best thing? It would be Virginia. It would probably be Virginia and it would be the Vipers. <laughs> Sorry. No, I don't. I, honestly, all... I, think it would, I think we would take the whole state because Virginia doesn't have a professional sports team. Um, the Washington football team has allegedly talked about moving you know, <laughs> the Washington football team. That's their new name for 2020. Um, they've talked about moving to Virginia. But I think that if 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 something was to happen here, it would be a Virginia team. And it would be named Virginia something, not city specific. Yeah, I mean, this all this has relevance because we've been going through this whole regional exercise of, uh, of uniting one another. So I, I think these are all really important steps to, to bring all of us closer to, to rally around something. Yeah, I, I don't know, part of me I'm torn because I, I feel like in some ways that's kind of what makes us special because there are so many things, but then at the same time, when we are trying to rebrand ourselves and draw attention to ourselves, we can't say, well, we have everything. We, yeah, you know. we, can be, uh, we can be the jellyfish. We have no shape. We have no yeah. anything, but we'll sting you when you're here. Oh, <laughs> oh the stingers. 
Virginia yeah. Spinner. Yeah, the Vipers wouldn't work because clearly there is no Vipers. So, but <laughs> but I I don't think the name. I think if if we were to ever get a professional sports team, it would be Virginia would be the first word, not a city specific. Was, was more of what I was getting out there. <laughs> Who knows? 